Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Warships Legends. My name is Spartan Elite 43 and tonight we are back in the Iowa. Been a while since we've done a video in the Iowa. So tonight I was out in my American battleships just raising all kinds of hell. And uh, yeah, here we are. So if you enjoy raising hell in your American battleships, punch the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And let's get this party started. So I hear a lot of people talk a lot of crap about my Iowa. They're like, no, it's washed up, Spartan. It ain't no good no more. They shadow nerfed it. Come on, it's terrible. The, the Iowa is nothing compared to what it used to be. Oh my God, the Iowa is awful. Why would anybody want to play the Iowa? Because she's sexy and she know it. Mm-hmm, you know it. And, not just that, Battleship New Jersey just went into dry dock recently. So, gives me a, an excuse to play an Iowa-class battleship. Right? As if I need an excuse. It is my most played ship of all time. Shocker. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you guys had a good weekend. I know it, it's, it's technically Sunday now, so I apologize. To you guys, I didn't upload a video yesterday. I did stream for like seven and a half hours, if that counts. I know it was Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts, and I wish more people would tune in and watch that, but I get it. I get it. It's not your thing. But uh, if you guys enjoy that sort of thing, I've been doing something a little different with it in terms of the beginning of the stream. I usually go over like a, a narration, a story. I come up with some lore from the previous stream. It's been a fun, fun little, uh, you know, experience. But uh, it is one of the most challenging... No, 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 no. Let me rephrase that. It is the most challenging stream I've had in terms of... Uh, oh, my God. Hello, Baltimore. Oh, you got to be joking. All right. Throttle jockey inbound. Now, the funny thing about throttle jockeyers... Like, these people get so predictable so quickly. Like, it works once, okay? The first time I shoot at you and you slow down like that, I'm like, okay, guess what I'm going to do the next time you sh you go to slow down. Watch. Wait for it. Oh, look, he's slowing down. I wonder what I should do here. Oh, I just won't lead him as much. wonder how this is going to work out for him. Wait for it. Bonk. <laughs> he's lucky that that wasn't a death strike. Uh, that's just the first of the worst RNG that I'm going to have during this match. We are going to have some pretty crap RNG at times, uh, especially when we, when we need it the most. Uh, but we're still going to have a good time. Like, we're going to absolutely raffle stomp this red team. And we're not even top tier. This is a tier 8 lobby. There's Musashi out there. There's a Duncan out there. There's all kinds of stuff out there. We're not even top tier, folks. How on earth will we cope with it? Oh, my God. It's almost like the, the Iowa-class battleships were a tier 9 battleship on PC, which are used to going up against what we consider legendaries, a.k.a. tier 10s. But what do I know? You want to you wanna talk about some, uh, like, pe people always complain about getting bottom tier in this game, and I, do I never understood it. We have plus one, minus one matchmaking. If you can't figure out how to play as a minus one... You need to go back to, like, Tier 3, Tier 4, and start over and rethink your strategy, okay? It's not that difficult. The, the ships in a plus one, minus one are not that much, like, crazier. They're just not. The biggest difference in plus one, minus one will be the folks that are at Tier 6 going up against Tier 7s. Everybody else is on an even playing field. Tier 7s to Tier 8s, Tier 8s to Legendaries, doesn't matter. They're all on even playing field, for the most part. Yes, the legendaries are going to have an advantage. The tier 8s are going to have a little bit of an advantage when it comes to hit points and, and so on and so forth. But, but, it's still the same potatoes controlling them. Look at this Riga, for instance. Now, I don't like, to, I'm not naming and shaming, just pointing out the obvious. This man has been in reverse, in a straight line, for a while. That's all we got to do. Aim high. Go for the superstructure, get some penetrations through the deck. Hopefully, we'll get a little bit better RNG later on. We use the island to protect ourselves from the uh, the HE for the moment. Problem solved, sir. And also screening off the key. Keep in mind what's about to happen. 
We have a Heezen that spawned next to us, and he's gonna go charge down the keep, and he's going to throw away all of his hit points. Riga, on the other hand, is uh, still reversing in a straight line, and that looks like a much better salvo. Straight through the deck. You'll love to see it. Superstructure deck. You'll love it. But uh, Heezen is like, yeah, I, I got this. Don't worry. I, I can do it. I can do it. Yeah, you've already slapped the, the key, so I got this. Uh, heads up. He doesn't have this. He doesn't have this at all. Not even a little bit. Not even slightly. But uh, we take another shot here at the Riga, expecting him to turn a little bit. He's starting to try to wiggle a little bit, but he's not doing a very good job of it. As you can see, we anticipate him moving a little bit. We absolutely rail him. And now I was thinking about pushing out, and then the Heezen gets himself dev struck. And I'm like, okay, I guess I don't want to push around this corner yet. So we're just going to hold. Now we have two cruisers behind us. And I'm figuring this Riga's probably dead here, right? So I'm already anticipating potentially torpedoes coming around the corner. We know that there's a key there, right? We know he's in range. And of course we hit him with just one shell and leave him with just enough to continue to be a god blessing nuisance. And boy, is he going to be a nuisance because now he's decided he wants to go forward. And then he's going to change his mind again. And he's going to start to try to reverse. I only need one shell to hit this man. And uh, you can see the, the Iowa does not like to stop. And unfortunately, Key gets a nasty shot through my bow side plating and punishes me for it. Uh, but fortunately, the Ochika finishes off the Key. Our shots completely bracket the Riga and do not touch him, which is real unfortunate. So we not only took damage, but we ended up taking damage and not getting rid of the Riga. I apologize. It's six in the morning right now, for those of you who don't know. But uh, we're going to go back out here. I've been playing World of Warships for a while tonight, I ain't going to lie. Probably should have streamed it, to be honest. It was kind of ridiculous. But uh, notice how I'm paying attention to the mini-map and who's got, who's where, and where the crossfires can, are and all of that. Now, this Riga keeps getting away with just not dying, okay? I'm tired of it. So we did take a shot at the Duncan. We get an overpin, unfortunately. Didn't quite catch him flush, but it's fine. It happens. We'll catch him later. Don't worry. Foreshadowing. Now here we take a shot, and that shot looks pretty freaking good. I don't need to look Problem at this solved, one, but I'm going sir. to anyway. And yeah, that's the end of the Riga. So finally, we get rid of him. There's still a destroyer out here, which is a Fletcher. There's the Duncan out here. Now pay attention to what my team is doing, okay? Pay attention to it. Pay attention to what the enemy is doing. We get a radar from, I'm assuming, Ochakov here. So the Fletcher gets lit up. Now, I could shoot at the Duncan here, or I could target the Fletcher and try to auto-aim a shot as he comes around the island. And guess what I choose to do? See a destroyer? Shoot a destroyer, right, folks? At the end of the day, a destroyer could easily run off and win this game for their team. So... Trying to target him and get rid of him is a huge thing. So, fortunately, I was able to hit him with two shells. Fire on the enemy warship. And our Ochikov should be able to clean him up from there. Uh, now, my next shot, because the Ochikov is engaging the Fletcher, I decide to go for the Duncan. The Duncan is flat broadside. What do we know about the Duncan's flat broadside? Very easy to sit it out, right? Now, unfortunately, we didn't get the shots off in time so the rear turrets are the only ones that get through but watch the result <laughs> two citadels half that man's health gone just like that imagine if i had gotten reloaded just a little bit sooner and managed to get all of the shots on target that would be a dead duncan right now but unfortunately he's gonna survive and even more unfortunate is that my team is going to leave him alive i don't understand how it works it's not a difficult concept Finish people off when you see them low health. It's really not difficult. Duncan, watch, we get another shot around the island. This time it's the front guns that made it around and the rear guns hit the island. You know, a little trade, tit for tat, you know, that sort of deal. And I honestly thought that was gonna be a lot better. It just wasn't. It, it, it did not do what I needed it to do. And unfortunately, our ships are going to struggle to finish off that Duncan. Now, I wasn't spotted. So I'm actually looking forward to this engagement with this Musashi, which you should be ready for because we all knew he was here, right? We're paying attention to the minimap. He wasn't paying attention to the minimap because this should be dead. But uh, I didn't quite lead him enough, unfortunately. 
And as we continue to close the distance, we are going to once again showcase why, despite the fact that this is a Musashi and he overmatches everything, it is not impossible to play against. You just gotta be smart, right? Bait them into shooting your belt, close the angle, shatter all the things, right? Now here, I'm not gonna lie, I thought we had him dead to rights here. Uh, he gets a couple of hits in, we get no citadels. That's bullshit. I'm sorry. That's just straight bullshit. <laughs> These are 50 caliber, super heavy, armor piercing, 16 inch shells going into the side of that Musashi at 9 kilometers. And you telling me I can't citadel him? Really? Battle ends in five minutes. Pressing, pressing X to doubt. Okay. But uh, we take a pretty nasty hit here because I wanted to get all the guns to bear. Uh, this time we finally get it through the cheek as he turns towards us. But now we've got another problem. The Duncan that we left alive is still alive. And worse than that, he's got no one else to shoot at except me. And so now he is a problem for me. So not only am I fighting the uh, Yama off my bow, I'm also fighting the Duncan off of my broadside. Now here, I'm not gonna lie, I rushed the shot a little bit. I didn't aim it quite high enough, so we don't finish off the, the Musashi. I was hoping to get the rear turret in. You can see we live with 252 hit points, but unfortunately not, not enough to finish off the Musashi. We fired the guns with the rear turret of justice, and all of them fell short. And the Musashi picks up a quacken. And I come up with 176,000 damage. Coming up just short of being absolutely juicy. Now, what happens next is simple. Rosiah, tier 8 battleship, goes straight into cap. The enemy Yama has the advantage. All he has to do is hide, and he wins the game. Three and a half minutes, all he has to do is hide, and he wins the game. He's got all the islands in the world to hide behind. All he has to do is hide, and he wins the game. But people can't do that, can they? No, they have to win harder. And, thankfully, that's exactly what this Musashi is going to try to do. He's going to try to win harder. As our Rosaya pushes in, you'll notice off to the left here, as he goes a little bit forward, the... Musashi is going to get spotted. We got to get into the cap first, I think. But, yeah. Either way, the Musashi is going to get himself spotted. He's going to be right through the gap to the left, I believe. And, uh, I'm not going to lie. This guy managed to heal back a little bit more health, somehow. I don't know how, but apparently he had a heal left. Managed to heal some back. Rosaya takes the shot, takes a little bit of damage, but unfortunately leaves him with just enough to get away. Now remember, all he has to do is hide and he wins. That's it. What? Can't do that. You Taking advantage of that gigantic island to hide behind? That's too much critical thinking skills for this, this Musashi player. He, he is like, nope. I must try to kill the Rosaya, despite the fact that he has a 300 score advantage. A 300 points, man. And then he comes out, and Rosaya finishes him off. Snatching victory from the jaws of defeat. Yeah, love to see it. But uh, we did everything in our power to carry that team. Uh, the high caliber, 176,000 damage, top of the leaderboard, 2,891 XP. Surely... The Iowa is still a capable ship. Can we all agree? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you like what I'm doing, punch the like button. Leave a comment below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And as always, I will see you in the next video.